Okay, if you've just joined us, Joe Cox, the Labour MP, has died of her injuries. She was shot and stabbed earlier in West Yorkshire. According to a YouGov poll, Home Secretary Theresa May is the preferred leader of the Conservative Party. And hasn't the Treasury consistently got its forecast wrong anyway? I mean, should we even believe these forecasts? How can anyone forecast anything out to 2030? In the currency market, some massive moves for the pound against the dollar. 8% lower, was down by 11%. Still the 8% fall is the biggest decline on record. Breaking news here in London, Prime Minister David Cameron has just announced the UK will have a new Prime Minister by Wednesday night. He's heading to Buckingham Palace any second now to tender his resignation to the Queen. Theresa May waiting in the wings to take the helm of Prime Minister and lead her country to Brexit. This is where investors were putting their money overnight when it seemed that Trump would emerge victorious. Let's just check out what's happening at the White House. There's the president, Theresa May, arriving at the White House. Can Marine Le Pen really win, given Trump's victory? Has the probability of a Le Pen victory increased? Breaking news, we're continuing to monitor the incident near the Houses of Parliament here in London where multiple shots have been fired. The Metropolitan Police says it's treating the incident as a terrorist attack. In the last 10 minutes, the peace and calm that uh, preceded the presidential election vote, Eric, has been completely shattered because about 10 minutes or so ago, and I've put the video on my Twitter account, at Mark Barton TV, I took the video, we had the Palestinian protesters behind me attempt to storm the FIFA Congress. Dismar Hoff is worth 5 billion euros. He's ranked in the top 300 in the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Over the last 25 years, he's ploughed over 350 million euros into this football club. Dr Barton has decided to give a health check on the UK economy, Bonnie. Why is that? We're seven months on from Brexit, and also we get the release of UK GDP data tomorrow. And as Theresa May heads to Washington, I thought I'd bring out the stethoscope and give a brief health check on the UK economy. It's needed. And guys, don't be too upset. There is an American to cheer for tomorrow. The queen of tennis, Serena Williams, the 20-time Grand Slam champion. She's won Wimbledon five times. She, of course, takes on Garbine Muguruza from Spain tomorrow. The unheralded, unheard of Spaniard. If Serena wins tomorrow, she'll win the Serena Slam. Taylor Swift wins three Grammys, one album of the year for 1989. Now, for those not in the know, 1989 was the year she was born. So I was thinking, what if you'd invested as her parents in various assets the day she was born on December the 13th, 1989? Look what I've come up with. You're not only happy that you produced Taylor, but your portfolio of US and dollar assets has done remarkably well. Well done, Mr. and Mrs. Swift.